In this video, we're going to be looking at the new function um, that Roland have installed in the new VersaWorks 6, which will help with colour management settings. Now, colour management can be a bit tricky for not only new users, but also existing users. This new function allows the user to send an individual job at different colour management settings at once. This way, if you've got a specialist material, usually uh, a matte material, um, a poster paper, canvas, um, HTV, matte, sometimes the colour may, may look a little bit different to what you expect it to. So this function will allow you to show customers how it looks. It will print out the, all the information needed for each colour management setting. This function is called the Generate Variation Job. So like I say, you can select a certain job here, which I've selected. There's a bit of yellow, a bit of magenta, a bit of black, all in that one design. Now, obviously, whichever colours man management you send that job at, it will always look slightly different depending on what material you're printing onto. So you can also use the colour palettes within Illustrator and Coral Draw and the colour selector you can print out in VersaWorks um, to try and colour match the best way possible. But again, depending on what you're printing onto, the colour may change slightly. So for this reason, you can send a small job that you want to print individually at each colour management setting. So the first thing you want to do before using this Generate Variation Job feature is to make sure your queue settings are set up to whatever material you want to print this variation job onto. So you'll have five queues, QA to QE. As you see there, I've set up QA for self adhesive vinyl, QB for banner, and QC for HTV. Now this, these queues will be set up with the job information to be printed on that material. So for instance, on QA, I've set my media type to generic vinyl one. So for instance, if you had a HTV, you'd set it to heat transfer. If you had a banner, you'd set it to banner, poster papers, generic paper, and so on. So the main thing you need to do first is to make sure your media type is set before setting your job variation. So for this one, I'm going to leave it at generic vinyl one V2, press OK. Now what we can do is, if you've got a a large job, what you don't want to do is send a very large job at eight different colour management settings. The reason being, you're just going to waste a lot of material. So what you can do, if you're not sure on a certain colour, you can go into your job to start with, change that to one, and you can change the size of it. So say for instance, if it was a metre long job, you don't want to print that metre at eight different colour management settings. So what you can do is just scale it down, either 50%, 25%, whatever you want to do, just so you can see how the colour is going to look when it's printed. So we're happy with that for the time being. So select your job, PDF, generate job variation, click on that one. Now what will happen is it will open a separate dialog box. And in this you can compare the quality settings, you can compare colour management settings. You can also compare the colour adjustment, but we won't cover that today. We're just going to look at the colour management settings. So we'll select that and now press next. And what you can do now, you can select the colour management settings that you want this job printing at. So for instance, on the VGTR2 ink, you can select each one of the true rich colours. You can select the general, US, Europe, Japan, max impact and so on display. I very rarely use the bottom three. The density control only is usually for um, profiling. So I would very rarely use that. If you wanted to, you can set it at each one of them, but recommended, I probably wouldn't go below sign and display. Maybe one of the true rich colors. There's not gonna be too much difference, but if you wanna see it the very first time, you can, you can send it at each one of them settings. So when you're happy, you can press OK. And what will happen is VerseWorks will create a separate job in your queue, which is the job variation. So as we scroll down, 
it has created a nested file with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different. It's going to print this logo in nine different color management settings. What will happen is when it's printing out, it will have all the information of each color management setting, the resolution, the speed, all the information you need for that one job. So if a customer comes in and says, I like that color best, I like this color best, you've got all the information underneath, underneath each sample to go back into Versworks and say, right, this is what I was using, this is the speed, this is the color management, this is the resolution. And that's how you set up the generate variation job. So what I'm going to do now is send that over to the printer and just give you a little sample of what it looks like when it comes out.